Alrighty folks, we're always being asked how we manage and take care of all the stuff that we show and decorate with and change out every season. So I thought you'd like to see it right here on my take on home and garden. Alrighty guys. Here's the beginning <laughs> of opening the gates for Christmas around our house. First thing I do, among others, open the hall upstairs linen closet and our linen closet. I start getting Christmas out. I start putting it in the rooms it goes in because I need those shelves to put things back in. And all it is is an exchange of things. So if you look, what we're doing, I get inspired by doing the dining room first. So, you know, it's my favorite thing from just being a kid looking through books. And I'll never forget it. I just had to have that big dining room table for Christmas. So here we are taking down the amber glass. You can see this goes in a corner cabinet in the living room. Okay, so I've got to take that all down. All the green and anything that went with fall in the crackle glass I use too. So this all has to go back. And you see, I just load up trays to take them to their next resting place, <laughs> if you will. It is a lot to take care of, but we have a show. If you don't have a show, you don't have to worry about it. Teacups and pitchers that I had on shelves and had out have to go away. It's, it's just a big giant puzzle. Now there's crystal in the china cabinet. Some is for Christmas and some of it's got to come out. So the Royal Bay Root in the Bavarian and our set of meadow by Heinrich has to go back in there. So it's just a big shuffle of things. The blue and white chinoiserie goes up to the hall, a linen closet. Possibly some swans will go with them. Now I've got some of this down so you can see how it works. Also the oriental that's out has to be put up just for the season and replaced by snowmen and Santa, which we have in the standby, <laughs> waiting to be put out. Now on the dining room table, because I like to start in the dining room, you'll notice I've started to put out the picks and flowers and they start coming out by the bundles and we'll get a quick look at them you see how funny and bare the fireplace looks with the basket gone. So we got a lot done today in just a short evening. I put away all the blue and white chinoiserie. I pulled out Christmas that was in the cabinets that can go on the shelves. Look at this. There's our new snowman and our thrifted Santa with the sticker on. 
Got all the amber glass moved and put in its shelves. Everything in the Heinrich Meadow is put away. This cabinet is full. You know, I don't like to move the top shelf here. I don't move it. The second one I have to because I have a lot. But the Royal Albert on the top shelf, I don't move. All right, now we're getting quite a quite a movement here, and there's a lot of plate stands, and we'll need them again. Okay, I don't even believe it. You guys are getting a bonus today that like watching people clean. Here's my lemon cleaner. And we washed these before fall, so we're going to just do a furniture polish now. Yes, girls, he cleans too. <laughs> oh, man. I love the comments. And you see, this doesn't take long. I like an old sock or hopefully cotton t-shirt, you know. Rattle, rattle on that plate hanger. What we've got going now is I pull out all the smalls, which is self-explanatory, what I call smalls in the bins, pull out everything that was put away in any cabinet, pull it out on the table so I can see what I have and what's going on, and then it's gonna start going on the shelf. Some of you might get disappointed at when the video ends because, frankly, the film in these cameras is barely good for 30 minutes. But I want to show you what my steps are now. I'm going to key off trying to balance the two shelves somewhat, but in an informal way, in an informal balance. Like if I put a candle or a sleigh on the left side, third shelf down, I don't have to have that on the right side. You know, okay, so that's informal balance. Let's look at our, oh man, I'm getting so excited for our vintage stuff. Remember that 50s and 60s? <laughs> when you, you've heard me talk about it. When you were a kid, this is all we had. We didn't even have plastics yet. They were just coming out with celluloid something lower or super precious might start out on a shelf like that and I was really fortunate to find two of these these are like Napco and others mostly from Japan in the 50s and 60s <laughs> you know how it is you get older and I just this stuff is my favorite stuff now. I, I never even used to worry about it or think about it that hard. You know, I always liked it. But then you remember our gorgeous trees and lots of crystal sleighs. And speaking of sleighs, and speaking of fortunate, man, I love this swan sleigh you guys saw in my Neuschwanstein table last year it's completely off the chain now let me tell you about people they're funny our wonderful friend Deborah from Painted South 
I see she came up with a sleigh like this. So we teased back and forth about finding some swans, but I want to tell you straight right now, it slays her to think that I have two of these. No pun intended. <laughs> So we send our love to Deborah from the Painted South. Real cute channel. Now, moving on. I want to use those, of course. And I want to be maybe a little more in a serious setting. So we'll separate it from the, the early stuff like this that's more kid-like and fun okay so I start like that you know we got the new snowman this year just love it and he's lighted so we got Santa and we got snowman and I like to mix it up you guys know that here's that little plate this year with the boot Okay, so let's possibly need like a five inch, six inch stand like this to hold that. I like to put a boot with it. See, like this. Okay, so what are we missing? We're missing some green and greens. So we got another little couple of things we found this year. Here's another snowman. I probably want them together. <laughs> Vintage piece. And we'll want a little vintage book or a little saying with, with them. And it's going to fill up fast. There's no doubt about it. Let's bring this book down this way. For Santa. Then, you remember the picks this year that I love? That sleigh is just empty. Until we put that in there. Now look at it come together. Now also what I've shifted around the whole house, when I pull out ornaments like these, okay, the ornaments start going in the rooms they're going to be used in. Oh boy, it's just so fun seeing the picks. New, old, sentimental. <laughs> Four, five, we got five little pieces on there and we almost made up that whole shelf. Where you're gonna go, guys, too cute. And I can't always show everything that I'm doing every minute because it takes too long. And people aren't going to watch anyway. They don't watch. They end up clicking through and fast forwarding and it ruins our analytic. The analytic determines whether YouTube lifts you and shows you to people more or not. So that's how that goes. There's some little boots. And I'm going to make up arrangements in those swans. And I found these were cute last year from Wally's. It was a set of four little dishes. I mean, it could be anything. It could hold a cookie. I thought it would hold a candle nice. 
I think there was two green and two red together, something like that. Look at this. Here's that cute little Demitas we picked up this year. Got a spot. <laughs> Need a spot. Well, he could go on the really little, little plate stand like that, huh? And up here on the short shelf too. Look at the Santa heads. Everything that goes up. Partridge in a pear tree. Everything I like to use around the dining room are in these bins. And I'll pick through and sort through all these. Oh my gosh. Here's the Coke polar bear. And then who doesn't like the girls' ice skates <laughs> for decor? Too cute. I don't know. Something about them. Oh, my goodness. They are cute. We'll tweak these and move them around over and over. <laughs> And there's a place for everything. Now, guys, come on over and I'll give you a job. <laughs> no problem. That is just cracking into some of the smalls and decor that I gotta deal with. But, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Give us a happy face. <laughs> a candy cane, a Christmas tree. Thanks for coming by, guys. Take care now. We'll see you soon. We're on a roll. Hmm. I think I feel a tree coming up. And another thing coming that's a real surprise, and I'm not going to say the name before I can get it out. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next Over the Top Decor video. And everybody that's bought some My Take on Home and Garden shirts, clothing, hot cups, cold cups, anything anything you bought we really appreciate you thank you and you're helping us be able to stay here right here on youtube thanks folks see you soon